Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Ati Allah, Ati Rasul Ulul Amri Minkum and always a reminder for myself and Abdul Haji Sur Da'ifu, Miskeen, Uzal, Mujahar and but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence and asking for Allah's might and majesty to dress and to bless us inshaAllah. Bi madadakum wa nazarakum Sayyidi Ya Rasul Kareem, Ya Habib Al Azim, Allahu wa la hayya la hayya ya Qayyum. Allahu wa la hayya la hayya ya Qayyum, 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 Allahu wa la hayya la hayya ya Qayyum. Madadakum wa nazarakum Sayyidi Ya Rasul Kareem, Habib Al Azim, InshaAllah Allah Azza wa dress us and bless us. And the immensity of this blessed month, blessed nights and the immensity of Laylatul Qadr that Allah inshaAllah to dress us and bless us from its immensities. And for Ahlul Marifa and Ahbab and Nabi the lovers of the Divine Reality whom they follow the tariqahs and the paths of the fountains of Kawthar and that they emanate from the holy heart of Sayyidina Muhammad and that the source spring for all realities of all Divine Grace, all majestic oceans and beauty. And we pray that Allah to take us to that fountain, our soul to be washed within that fountain to be drinking from that fountain and the immensity of its blessings to dress us, our families and our communities. Alhamdulillah Laylatul Qadr is a night in which Prophet would often retreat <coughs> into the, the mountain and in the mountain meditating, meditating many times days at, at a time. So if anyone wants to know about meditation they should study the life of Sayyidina Muhammad that continuously cutting oneself off from humanity, isolating himself with his Lord to contemplate and to bring out the realities within the heart. And it was during the ninth lunar month where they say, there's a vagueness on what day that was but alhamdulillah from the knowledge of awliyaullah that's on the 27th an immense reality. And that on the 27th of the month of Ramadan Sayyidina Jibreel appeared to Sayyidina Muhammad and began to open the risalat that came and hugged the holy chest of Sayyidina Muhammad three times, hugged and gave the command that coming from Divinely Presence, ikhara and began the flowing of revelation towards humanity. And alhamdulillah that on this path of Gnosticism and realities that this is a reality that has eternally dressed Sayyidina Muhammad because people have a hard time in their minds understanding these realities but you said this and is this like this and this like this. There's a knowledge for common people and there's a knowledge for the people of realities and that the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad and Hadith al Jabbar that what was the first thing that Allah created and Prophet acknowledged, the light of your Prophet, the Messenger Muhammadun Rasulullah knowing that Muhammadun Rasulullah has always been the Messenger of Allah the custodian of that reality in the world of Malakut but for this earth and for the world of form an ocean of power occurred on the 27th of Ramadan and the physicality of Sayyidina Muhammad 
was ordered to begin to begin the messengership, begin releasing this power of Qur'an upon this humanity. But the soul has always been and is the custodian of these realities. But this is an event in the world of physicality and as a result of that event Prophet out of humility that, what am I to begin to reveal and the order was, Iqra. And the six holy verses of Surat Al-Iqra, the 96th surah began to come. And these are associated with the power of the opening of the heart towards Divine Revelation. So inshaAllah Haji Shahid we can recite the this six verses of Surat Al-Iqra, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim being number one. So I think we recite to the fifth. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Iqra bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq. خَلَقَ الْإِنسَانَ مِنْ عَلَقَ إِقْرَأْ وَرَبُّكَ الْأَكْرَمْ الَّذِي عَلَّمَ بِالْقَلَمْ عَلَّمَ الْإِنسَانَ مَا لَمْ يَعْلَمْ صدق الله العلي العظيم Sadaq Allah Nadeem wa balaghti Rasul Al-Kareem, Fail Laylatul Mubarak, Laylatul Qadr, inshaAllah Allah dress for us the immensity of these realities that the first command coming, Ikhira, and that you can hear, Ikhira, that the command opening your holy vision because everything perishes but the holy face. And this is a command coming from Malakut, from Divinely Presence said, Ya Rasul Kareem Iqra, the sharat that open now your wajik al kareem the most generous reality of your nazar because Iqra is the power of tawajjuh that to focus your holy face and begin to release this energy upon humanity. Iqra bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq with power Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem these are six powers on the holy heart. First that everything opens with Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. The second power that opening upon that heart, Iqra, with that ocean of power, Iqra, Bismi Rabbika Alladhi Khalaq, that read the Ismi Rabbik means then the tariqah is based on in what name do you think you're opening power within your reality? Bismi Rabbik, read in the name of your Lord. When they don't understand that haqqaiq, they think they are taking directly from Allah And if Allah gives to someone thinking that they are taking directly from Allah they'll never come back to humility. And they won't be in need of Prophet for Sahabi, for Ahlul Bayt, for Awliya, nothing. So that would make the person to become arrogant and Pharaoh. So then the tariqah's purpose is to come and begin to describe. And that's why Prophet described all about Rabb and Rububiyyah who knows himself, alama nafsuhu. And we'll know his Lord. So our path is based on 
for these realities to open within the heart of insan. Because Laylatul Qadr is a continuous flowing. Layl, you annihilate yourself and Allah gives you Qadr. So at every moment you enter to Layl and annihilate and through testing difficulty, through self-effacement you annihilate and its result will be power. But the tariqah has to come to establish and teach people. This iqra and this tawajjo, this power of iqra to flows to you from one alif to another alif, this iqra is flowing from alif of raw alif. If that ikra and this tawajjo that everything perishes but the holy face, it's in the Bible too about the Divine Face and that everything perishes but the face. For the alif, qaf, ra, alif, you receiving the alif on the left side. So we're trying to get a, a power and a qudrat, izzatullah, izzat al rasul these are the alifs. The first alif, izzatullah, not something you can achieve. Izzat al Rasul, the might of the Rasul, and then Izzat al Mu'mineen. So, it means that the might of Allah flows to Prophet The might of Prophet flows to all Mu'mineen. So, we're trying to receive that Alif. So, we have to move to the Ra. The Ra are the Rabbaniyoon and lordly souls. So we must be in our lives accompanying Rabbaniyoon, lordly souls whom they learned the book and they taught the book. They learned Kitabullah and they taught Kitabullah. And we said before, it's not what people think because the walking kitab is Sayyidina Muhammad They didn't learn pages on a book printed on a paper from an ink that we don't know where it came from. The Kitab Allah is what Allah taught to the whole soul and the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad So they learn Kitab Allah, they accompany the reality, they dress from the reality, they're the lovers of that reality, they're the lovers of Sayyidina Muhammad and as a result they taught that love and they taught that knowledge. They, their alif, they held it and their alif is in the association of these Ra and Rabbaniyoon. And these Rabbaniyoon they are dressed from this Qaf, Qaf al Qur'an al Majeed. That's why we put by their name Qaddisallahu Siru. Because they carry the secret, they carry the secret of Holy Qur'an which is the power emanating from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad And their might and majesty of Qur'an is coming from the first alif which we described. That alif of Allah, Izzatullah is flowing into Izzat Rasul, that alif. And Izzat Rasul, the might and the power of Sayyidina Muhammad when mu'mineen and these are the ulul am that are ahbab lovers and they know that reality, they adhere to that reality and they are commanded by that reality. And as a result they are under that face, they are under that tawajjah, they are under that domestic, that majestic and divine dress. So then the tariqah comes to teach, who's your Lord? So, Bismi Rabbik. So, once the adab of who their Lord is, we have talks that how can you say that your Lord is Allah when you are subje subjecting yourself to all your lower desires? That's why the whole path is to know who am I subjecting myself to? 
I'm, a, I'm servant to my desires before I can even ever claim to be servant of Allah Those desires have to be destroyed, those bad characters have to be destroyed. Then Allah begins to open up the higher lords in which you are to be and be subject to the lordship of Sayyidina Muhammad whom is the Malik al-Hayat wa Malik al-Dunya and that the king is subject to Allah right? So sovereignty on earth is the same. What Allah loves about kings and dislikes everything about demonocracy, right? When you analyze the word democracy, its root was from demonocracy which was Greek for the gathering of demons. Monarchs and kings, they taught humanity lordship. Allah, the king and the subject, like understanding Imamiyah, Allah is the Lord. Under a king, you are a subject to the king, you're not subject to Allah, you're subject to the king. And this is the system in which Allah loves. Why? Because it shows humanity humility. And what the king wants, he should want for what his Lord wants. So when the king is of a heavenly realm and there were kings on earth that represented Allah that the people were subject to the king and the king is wholly subject to Allah and if done correctly, they all are subject to Allah because if you're a true servant of the king and the king is a true servant of Allah then you follow the commands of Allah by following the king. So the most purified king of all creation is the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad What he gave to us, we follow. What he forbid for us, we leave. How he taught us to pray, we pray. So we understand that we are subjects of a mighty king and that he represents us in Divine the Presence. And that, that brings our path of humility and understanding. This Lord that creates and gave the secret of creation to this king, everything happens with a secret on this earth. Every creature within their womb that brings a creation into existence is by a knowledge. When they say, yes, by Allah but that's oversimplified. Allah gave a knowledge into the womb of a rabbit, of a human, of a giraffe, of every type of creature that procreates, it has a secret. And as a result of that secret, it takes an egg, it nourishes the egg, and the angelic force within that womb begins to build and bring that creation into existence by permission of Allah and by the knowledge that been bestowed upon that creation. That knowledge is all in the hands of Sayyidina Muhammad because the tawheed, La ilaha illallah has to flow to Muhammadun Rasulullah from Muhammadun Rasulullah this knowledge flows out to all of creation. So then the establishment of where are you taking, what are you subjecting yourself to is then the opening of these powers of the heart. So, Iqra bi ismi rabbika ladhi khalaq that all has to be taught to the student and in their hearts. Khalaq al insana min alaq. And that the reality of this heart, khalaq al insana min alaq, that your reality is coming from alaq. 
Khalaqal insana min alaq Don't worry if it becomes complicated. Just write it and inshaAllah the understanding come into the heart. Khalaqal insana min alaq We created your being min alaq min mimnun by the Muhammadan nur min min m mim nun Muhammadan nur alaq ain lam qaf This is how we're describing now this knowledge that came to every womb. Allah is opening all that might with these six verses. The first verse being Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem that contains every reality. So in these six powers we're down now to this power, Khalaqal insana min alaq. The min is that everything is created and brought into existence in the ocean of Muhammadun Nur. There's nothing outside of Muhammadun Rasulullah, you're not created from La ilaha illallah. Every universe, galaxy, planet, creature, creation, leaf, everything is from Muhammadun Rasulullah That's why in Dalal Khirat they praise based on that reality. We praise you Ya Rabbi based on every drop in every ocean, from every drop of every rain that ever falls from every sky, from any planet, from any universe. From its origin of Muhammadun Rasulullah and all that light, its zikr is, in Allahi wa malaikatuhu yusallun ala nabi, all that Muhammadan light is under the zikr of Allah and sustaining that creation with that Ayatul Kareem that verily Allah and His angels are praising upon Prophet in eternity, not the physicality only. The eternal light of Muhammadan Rasulullah is powered by Ayatul Kareem, in Allahi wa malaikatuhu yusallun ala nabi that Allah is verifying and validating this Muhammadan light for all of creation to come in existence is by my praise and the praise of my purified lights, Malaika. These are the Muhammadan purified lights, they're all praising upon that reality and that light. It is the power that's sustaining that reality. Wa khalaqal insana min alaq. And that the ayn, lam, qaf, their alaq <coughs> they say is a clinging cloth. This alaq is as Allah's ancient knowledges, alim. Ayn and vision, ayn is also ayn. If you want ayn, and vision, then you have to be the custodian of Allah's alim, al alim, ancient knowledges, not the memorized and read knowledges. These are the custodians of Allah's ancient knowledges that you rarely find on a book, but they can be transcribed and brought down onto books. But it's a energy and flowing reality that is of a continuous flowing nature through the hearts of these realities. And that Allah brought all this creation into existence by the secret of this alaq. That when Allah want to open the reality of that alaq upon the servant, He dresses them from His ancient ayn. So they become Ahlul Basira, they have the ayn and I. And they have the ancient alim, alim, al alim, ancient knowledges. And they inherit from that lisan. They inherit from the lisan. 
means that that reality of Prophet that Allah made that lisan to represent him. I wanted to be known, I'm a hidden treasure wanting to be known, Allah will be known through these knowledges on the tongues that have inherited this Ayn. And then Allah gives them a qudra and a power with qaf. That's why the inheritors of this reality they carry Al-Aleem and Qadir. So Baina Alimu Qadir is their lisan. Alim, the flag of knowledge, Lam, their tongue, and Qaf is their Qadr. They have two flags, a flag of knowledge, a flag of power and a tongue that speaks for the Divine and they represent the Aliq. Through that knowledge Allah says, we bring creation into existence, we khalaq al-insan min Aliq. Means that everything coming and manifesting is through these knowledges and these servants that contain these knowledges. This is why the, the power of the heart is so immense and the majestic reality of the heart is not something that can be understood. When Allah describes, I'm not in heaven, not on earth but I'm in the heart of my servant. Iqra, next power, Iqra, again this might and majesty coming, wa rabbukal akram. But now when this power is coming to you and dressing you from all these knowledges, all these uloom, all these realities, then Allah is describing that this Iqra and madad and what you would call Fayas, all these emanations that are flowing onto the soul that you, you are taking from the lordship of that power. So that to remind the servant it's nothing from you, Rabbukul Akram, your Lord is generous, not you. We replace you in a moment if you leave this reality. Not to think that you are self-sufficient but that your Lord is generous upon you, you've established the Lordship, you established the Kingdom. Thy Kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, as it is in heaven. That means the, the Kingdom of God has to come into the heart. The servant has to be loyal to that kingdom, a loyal servant. And then Allah describing, and your Lord is generous to you if you're loyal. So the all holy books say the same thing. Now they're debating whose is the kingdom. Means then the servants of the kingdom, they must be of a very noble character illuminated character, illuminated knowledges and it's not a football tailgate party. It's not a dirty group of people saying that we represent the Lord's kingdom on earth. That's a satanic kingdom. The Lord's kingdom is as clean as the Lord's heavens and must be filled with divine knowledges, divine grace, divine characteristics. Look at a nation in which is fasting for 30 days, how many billions upon this earth abstaining from food and water from sunrise to sunset, to what? To show, to show whose is the kingdom this day and who represents God's kingdom upon earth. They can't see, they have eyes but they can't see. The kingdom is clear, their character is clear. The lights will dress and bless through them through all their realities. And then Allah reminding, Iqra wa Rabbukal Akram.
that as you're getting your iqra, because iqra is the source of your tawajjuh. In these haqqaiqs when you're meditating and contemplating you're making a connection and they begin to dress your face, they dress your ears, dress your eyes, dress your breath, dress your nostril. All of these realities are dressing because that which never perishes is the face. So the command of iqra is the opening of tawahju, of conveying through the face that they meditate connected and their face becomes sheaths of power that are dressing upon it, receiving the, tawad, the tawajjud and the emanations and transferring from it. Like satellite dishes that covering this universe but this earth for, for now to understand. So then Allah saying, then this ikra is going to continuously flow to you but know that your Lord is generous. Keep yourself to be in a humble state. Allah the alamu bi qalam and that this uloom and this ain is going to flow to you bil qalam bil qalam that it doesn't come one time These servants they took a path in which to bring the Muhammadan haqqaiq upon their soul. From bringing the Muhammadan haqqaiq upon their soul they became Muhammadiyoon. As a result of being Muhammadiyoon they dress that light upon this earth. And the fastest way that they became Muhammadiyoon was to document Muhammadan haqqaiqs. So the shaykhs that teach Muhammadan realities, they are called Warath al-Muhammadiyyah. They are the guides of the Muhammadan haqqaiq and they are the highest nature of realities. As a result whatever they teach Whatever you read and write from them, you watch a video, you write. Because alam bil qalam, all of this uloom that we're describing tonight is bi qalam, not bi iPad, not by recorder, but bi qalam. So when that qalam writes this reality, that pen as soon as it writes, an action is being written on your kitab, knowledges are being written on your kitab. As a result your angelic reality is immediately transforming and that's why in the Nat Sharif and the Farsi Nat it says that, you change my destiny. As soon as a shaykh talks and you write, he's changing your entire destiny. So imagine somebody likes you and sends you 10 million bitcoins into your wallet, it's digital. Just for us to understand how fast Allah changes someone. Overnight you have an uncle who made billions in, in bitcoins, he gets your wallet address and sends you boom, 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 boom and you got now 10 million bitcoins or 10 million dollars worth of coin in your digital wallet. Your destiny flipped in seconds, why? Because now whatever you have, you have now a different course, different freedom, different life. That's dunya, that's a material world. As soon as you receive knowledges and that's why it requires faith because people say, I don't know what you're talking about, so, well you don't know. You see it every day in the digital world, somebody send you something digitally, it changes you, it has an effect on you. Now or more as our whole lives will be transformed into these smart, smart contracts and, and blockchains. But Allah gave that anciently, that you do good deeds, you do good actions, these are coming onto your digital record, written on a smart contract that can never leave you. 
And Allah says, I'm the greatest of those to keep hisab because there's a smart contract locked onto you. From the day you were born that contract was enacted, you're on a chain from Allah and everything you do is being moved to it. Now you can go to these digital wallets and every wallet is recorded and you can look at what they call the big whales, these huge wallets that have hundreds of millions of dollars that can't hide it. Everyone can see how they trade and what they do. Why is that happening? Because Allah is showing. Say, you're blind but the rest of creatures that I've given spiritual visions, they see everything. Everyone has a digital code from Allah It's all written and as a result of being written every action that they do is either making them good or making them bad. But when they write, Alam bil Qalam, Allah giving to us Alam that the one whom describing these realities, they're not normal. If you're following these types of realities, everything you write from it, the angel has to write what you wrote as a result that's now entering onto your smart contract. It's not even your reality, but because you're transcribing it. It's being written, hard written onto your contract. As a result, your contract on your kitab is of an illuminous reality, lights that can't be understood, realities that can't be understood that were not from your destiny. It wasn't until you could try to find that reality and write it. But that's why Allah then kunu ma sadiqeen, keep the company of, of sadiq and truthful servants where if they teach you and you write it, these writings change the reality of your book. Your angels have to change, your nobility changes, as a result your sustenance changes, everything of your reality changes because now you're custodian of Muhammadan realities. You walk on this earth, alam bil qalam. And as a result Allah begin to open what is qalam. So initiate is writing by a pen, only Allah come into our life that this qaf, lam, mim, the qalam of wal Qur'an in Majeed, all of the knowledges of Holy Qur'an and all of its power, knowledge is power. Is flowing onto the lamb, onto the tongue. And as a result of the qul, Allah's might and majesty of power flowing onto the qul, it dresses upon the meme and the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah. Again, verifying alam bil qalam that all knowledges must come from Muhammadun Rasulullah must come from the qul to the Muhammad, qul to the meme and that the reality of the qalam you hold is a reality from the reality of the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad who writes and represents every word of Allah Every word that Allah want to speak is through Muhammadun Rasulullah and that they become the custodians of the holy qalam, the one whom wrote it, been dressed by it, they become the qalam of Sayyidina Muhammad That when they're filled by it and they're, they're dressed by its lights, its blessings and its realities, they inevitably become the qalam of Sayyidina Muhammad That they represent on this earth the Muhammadan haqqaiqs. And as they speak these realities are dressing and the blessing the people whom are hearing them and more so for the people whom are writing these realities and changing their destinies, alam al-di mahyalam. And these are the knowledges that will be taught that are not everyday knowledges, they are not accounting and, and, and uh, math knowledges but mahyalam the knowledges that you have not yet understood. Means they're coming from the malakut and the oceans of light and the oceans of realities. We pray that Allah dress us from the immensity of Laylatul Qadr 
and that we meditate tonight, we do our zikr tonight, we put out the, the awrad from Shaykh Adnan for Laylatul Qadr which is the, the, the Naqshbandi awrad which is all the, the prayers, the fajr prayers. There's a hundred rakahs if people can do the hundred rakah then they can do that or if they can do ten of the rakah, whatever they can do to keep themselves under these tajallis and these blessings and to be dressed by these power oceans from the shaykhs that they accompany from the oceans of this power. There's nothing that you have to try to experience because you're ashiqeen and that the lovers of Sayyidina Muhammad are continuously in that ocean. We're asking to be dressed by it, blessed by it, our soul to be filled by it and that InshaAllah Allah grant us for the sake of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad the immensities of these lights and these blessings inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.